Have I made the biggest mistake in my entire life? Short answer, yes. This is what I call a basket case. Check it out, two boxes loaded full of stuff. I'll give you a clue. It is a Honda. Do any of you know what it is at this point? Did I put it in the title? I mean, I don't know. Check this out. Another box. <laughs> oh man, this is awesome. <laughs> I told you, this thing is nasty. on the road, man. Don't put barns on the road, man. Don't put your garage on the road, man. Don't put your mailbox all up in my, all up in my grill on the road. Around this. Oh, there was a scrape. I just scraped it. I just scraped the pegs. There you go. I told you I would. I hate to be the one to break this news to you guys. I tried to get my wife to do it but she wouldn't agree to it but the CB350 is gone it's no longer with us it's moved on to its new owner this kind of crazy biker chick anyhow I'm sure she'll take good care of it you know the channels took a big hit us having to get rid of that bike but it was just time to move on we need a little more power something a little louder we need a trail of smoke following us we need our hands on the handlebar, white knuckles, you know, and our feet dangling, dangling in the back like the tail of a kite. Something so that when you kick it over, it, it rumbles and shakes the ground, scares all the little children away. A flame throwing, smoking, nasty dragon of a machine. Some of you already know this bad mofo sits in hibernation over here in the corner of the garage. And here it is, time to unleash the Titan. That's right, a 1972 Suzuki T500 two-stroke nasty machine. The Titan does not feature any heated handle grips or disc brakes or even a starter. This thing is made for men and serious biker chicks only. Very few dare to hop on something like this, let alone be near it when you start it. All right, I've had enough fun, but now down to business. This is going to be my daily driver. This will replace the Honda CB350, and I was waiting till just the perfect time to get to work on it. The perfect time is now because I have a couple of months. It's getting ready to get pretty cold around here, and I have a couple of months before it's going to be decent motorcycle riding weather again. It will take every bit of that two months to get this thing going because I plan on rebuilding completely this engine or going through it, you know, putting gaskets and rings and everything it needs to make it right. Not to mention all the cables and tires and all the wiring, everything else that needs to be done to it. If you're interested in the condition this bike is in, I've already made a video on it when I purchased it. It's been a few months back, but I'll leave a link in the description below. For that video the z50 is on hold for right now because i just can't i can't paint i'm not going to paint inside and it's too cold to paint outside so i have some parts here other parts underneath this counter here i'm going to get them all together and put them in one spot so i don't lose stuff everywhere and we'll get back to that project you know as soon as possible as soon as the painting weather and because the titan is going to take a while and be very time consuming we're also going to probably be working on this CB360. 
This thing, I've been working on the fuel tank forever. I'm still working on it, but I'm getting closer and closer to getting it done. This bike should run with with little effort, I think. I mean, I got to get the carburetors back on it, and it's going to need some stuff. But while we're waiting on parts for the Titan, you know, in between things, we'll probably be working on this one. I bought this parts washer right here in hopes that we can stick the engine parts in there from the T500. But this also needs work, so I don't know if I'll make videos on that or not, getting it going. Maybe one, just to see how it goes, if we can get it going. It's in pretty rough shape. I also picked up a bike yesterday, so I'll give you a sneak preview of that. I can't say this is the prettiest thing I've ever seen, but it's a 1984 Yamaha RX50. Six speeds, 49 cc's, 10,000 RPM screamer. I just got it because it's cool and I wanted to try it out and drive it. I can't give you too many details on this old bike because I just picked it up last night and I don't have any details. I never even tried to kick it over anything. It was late. We just loaded it up. I came home with it and there it sits on the back of the truck. Maybe I'll make a video on it and we can check it out together. In a nutshell, this is our next big project right here, the Titan, for sure. And I can't wait to get started on it. And the other projects are kind of going to be fillers while we're waiting on parts and I did almost forget to mention there is going to be one more video on this MR50 because it is almost done and on its way out of here but I did manage to make or am working on making one last video putting seals and rings in it this is kind of a bittersweet video you know we had to get rid of the CB350 but there's light at the end of the tunnel because I'm really looking forward to this Suzuki project. Tell me what you guys think about it. Leave it in the comments. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. It helps the channel to grow. Subscribe if you hadn't already. And you're interested in this crap I work on. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.